Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am in my pantry and I have taken some inventory of stuff that I need to buy in bulk to restock my five gallon buckets. So today we are gonna hit up an Amish store and replenish our bulk food items. All right, if you guys saw my pantry video, you know that I have these five gallon buckets and most of them I have at least two or three buckets. Uh, for example, the oats right here, I have all three of these buckets are quick oats. I've got two buckets of basmati rice, one of pinto beans down there. These three are all-purpose flour. Uh, these are whole wheat for right now, and then these two here are for raw sugar. So today I'm gonna be looking to replenish my raw sugar. Um, you can see this is about a little less than half full and the bottom one is empty so I need to hurry and get some sugar in that. I have to buy all-purpose flour. This is the last of my all-purpose flour and it's about half full there. These two buckets are empty so I need to pick up a 50 pound bag of that. Um, I'm probably good on salt. It's about half full popcorn is good we're good on quick oats I already replenished that and I already replenished the rice so a lot of what I'm looking for today are actually gonna be bulk spices as well so um, other than the flour and the sugar I'm definitely looking for a bunch of spices it is canning season so I have to keep that in mind I need to stock up on a lot of my spices for spaghetti sauce and stuff of that nature so I've got a list and I'm ready to head out all right, so we are going to head to the Amish store first. There are several Amish stores throughout the state of Michigan. Then we will go to Walmart and get what we need from there. So the majority of my bulk supply is from the Amish store, but uh, I do get a few things at Walmart as well in bulk. And so hopefully we'll have a good day. trying to compare the prices on these what I normally get most expensive one they have which is the wheat Montana but it's $50 for 50 pounds so to reconsider which one I get they sell all-american canners here that's where I got my all-american canner but the price has sure gone up They do have an array of lids and canning supplies and jars. They are a little bit more expensive here, but if you can't find it at Walmart, it's definitely better than nothing. I really like this water bath canner too. This is also where I buy my scoops for my bulk food bucket storage. This is kind of their organic aisle. A lot of their organic products are in this aisle. And a lot of their kind of health food supplies. I think I might actually get some of that. It's hard to find at Walmart. This is kind of the bulk cereal and flour area and hot cocoa mix baking supplies. All right, so I found their new spot for the sugar and It looks like they're sold out of the raw sugar. Hmm, so that's a conundrum. I don't know what I'm going to do. If there's something else I could buy in its place. They have Sukhanat. It's 
pretty pricey though. I'm not prepared to pay $80 for 50 pounds of sugar. They do have this, but it's still a little bit pricey. This is one of the products that I like to get here. It's uh, yellow cornmeal, but it's non-GMO. So I really like that. All right, the spice aisle, and we need the majority of the stuff we need are spices today. All right, I think we got everything we need. We got some black pepper, smoked paprika, Italian seasoning, I need a lot of that for my canning, my sauces, um, chili powder, and cumin. And right here is the salt that I normally buy here. Big bag of real salt. This is where I typically get it. I like their bulk products here. I like to get a lot of my bulk food here, but I stay away from their kind of processed, packaged items because they're not really well known for um, being super health food enthusiasts or anything like that. They use a lot of sugar and there's a lot of preservatives that I find in uh, their kind of pre-blended items. So I pretty much try to stick to just the natural ingredients and stuff here. Alright, one thing I need to pick up is some molasses. This is non-GMO. And it's a good price, so I think I'll pick this up today. Alright, we needed some baking powder. So this is the popcorn aisle and uh, we don't need any, but last time we were here we got the medium white and it's a really good price <laughs> and we love it. It's super soft and it doesn't hurt your teeth so we really like that because that's our favorite one. We got home with our bulk food, um, and this is the stuff from the Amish store, and I am going to just take this stuff down to the pantry and get it put away. I did end up getting the raw cane sugar, the Florida crystals. Um, it was a little bit pricey, I thought, but... I looked it up on Amazon and I couldn't find anything even close to that price for a 50 pound bag and uh, it's not the brand that I normally get and yeah so I'm just hoping that when I open it up it's everything I hope for 
Um, and I decided to stick with the Montana wheat. Uh, I like their products and um, yeah, this was, I thought, the best all-purpose flour that they had there. So I went ahead and purchased this. I can't, I wish I would have wrote down the prices that they used to be because it just seems to me like it has definitely gone up. So um, also their oatmeal has gone up. I didn't buy any uh, quick oats today, but definitely the last time I did, I thought, wow, the price has definitely increased. <laughs> Um, I did get the blackstrap molasses like I had shown you. I haven't had molasses in years and I have been uh, coming up with reasons uh, and different ways to use it and I thought man I don't even have molasses so that's why I kind of bought this. Um, I wanted to have this in my pantry for when I need it. And we did get these spices so this is smoked paprika and then I get my baking powder this is baking powder i also get like my baking soda and stuff there usually this is italian seasoning but i use a lot of this especially this time of year when i'm canning uh, spaghetti sauce and stuff so i got some more of that to have in stock i get my chili powder there and the cumin those will stay up here in my kitchen pantry and the rest will be going downstairs to the basement pantry. All right, so we also went to Walmart and got a few things, although I didn't film in store because what I buy at Walmart for the most part isn't really bulk food or what you would consider bulk food. Um, but I try to buy a bulk supply of certain items so that I can keep my pantry stocked down here in the kind of long-term area. Um, this pantry feeds the pantry upstairs and then we pull food from the pantry upstairs. So this is a working pantry and we're constantly replenishing and taking out. So all of these items that you see here, they're not really staying long term um, because we are constantly rotating through and using them. But I wanted to show you kind of the bulk supply of food that I buy pretty much every two weeks or whatever when I go to get groceries I replenish these items so I just wanted to show you those as well. Alright so some of the things I picked up two of these natural creamy peanut butters this is actually not the brand that I typically get but for whatever reason there is a peanut butter shortage in our area and so there is zero peanut butter on the shelf for the past about month and a half so when I saw these, I went ahead and picked up a couple because uh, they are the good enough recipe and we like creamy peanut butter. So I went ahead and picked up these even though they're not exactly what I know would typically get. So we have a little bit of peanut butter here and I desperately needed to add some more to the shelf. So now we have three large containers at least to the pantry for peanut butter. And I always, no matter what, pick up a bag of coffee beans. So I have coffee upstairs and I already have one bag up here on the shelf. And so I'm going to add a second bag up there once I grab my stool. We'll put that up there. Um, I don't store a ton of coffee because obviously I want fresh coffee, fresh coffee beans. So I do buy whole beans so that they um, you know, the pre-ground stuff just won't stay fresh quite as long as a whole bean will. Once you grind it up, it deteriorates pretty fast. So I keep whole beans on hand all the time because, you know, if something happened and I couldn't buy coffee, that'd be really sad. Um, I always buy our green tea. So this is my favorite brand of tea. I always get organic tea. Um, so I always keep this on hand. I'm really grateful that Walmart carries this, but I try to keep at least a couple boxes on our shelf. So, and I also have a container obviously in the upstairs pantry as well. So I rotate through, I just make sure that my older stuff is to the front and I insert that new stuff to the back. So, um, I also always try to keep applesauce on hand. Uh, hopefully this year I'll be able to can my own and have a bunch on the um, 
home canned side of our pantry as well. Um, but in the meantime, it's nice to just grab these. I always get the unsweetened ones because uh, they're plenty sweet for us with just plain apples. But it is hard to keep the applesauce in stock. Seems like we go through it at a pretty decent pace, so I don't have a bunch built up in the inventory. But now I have a few upstairs, and I'll keep a couple down here, and um, we'll just use it and rotate it as we go. I also buy a lot of canned goods when I go to Walmart, so those kind of convenient items that are already prepared. Um, they require minimal, if any, cooking, um, and they are quick and easy, so that's always a plus. If I were gone or sick or we didn't have access to a way to cook our food, uh, these items are a perfect thing to have on your shelf in that for that. Um, so we buy, I typically don't buy a lot of cream of whatever soups, but I like to have at least one or two cans in case I feel like cooking something that requires that. Uh, so I don't really have a stock of those, but I just like to keep a couple on hand so I buy those. But we buy typically one or two different kinds of easy, quick soups, typically the Campbell's size or brand. <laughs> um, but we have bean with bacon soup on hand in the pantry pretty much all the time. And also just canned vegetables. So I buy like a corn and peas and we keep green beans. We have green beans on the shelf. That's really the only canned vegetables that I buy are the corn, peas, and beans. Uh, but this year, of course, we have corn growing in the garden and our own green beans. So it'll be really nice to have our home canned products uh, this year for those. But I like to keep these, like I said, in stock for emergencies and things like that and um, convenience. So we rotate those. We put these down here on the shelf and rotate through those as well. So I always, we really like enchiladas, so I buy canned enchilada sauce and I like to keep that in stock. I don't always buy the same size can, but I'm just going to put these back here. These shelves were designed for canning jars, uh, so they fit quart size jars. The space is perfect for quart size jars. Um, so store bought food isn't exactly the perfect fit. Um, so eventually when we expand our pantry, this side will be for home canned products as well. So both sides of this pantry will be for home canned products since they fit so perfectly with canned goods. And uh, in the new expanded part of our pantry, we will keep our store bought supplies at some point. So, but for now we make it work and everything works just perfectly. So one main staple in the pantry are, are canned beans. So I do have one of my five gallon buckets here full of pinto beans. So I do keep some dry beans as well. Um, but I like to have canned beans as well. And one of the big reasons for that is convenience, of course. Um, they are quick and easy. So if I'm gone all day and it's dinner time and uh, I know that I can come home and whip up something super quick and we don't have to sit around for an hour for the soap beans to um, soak and or cook or whatever. Even in the instant pot, it takes quite a while to do dry beans. So I like to have beans in cans for those quick meals. Uh, yes, I could can beans, but it does take a lot of time and effort to pressure can beans. So I like to just have the store-bought canned beans on the shelf. Uh, it's also really great if there is ever a time where we don't have power, electricity, or fuel, or what have you to waste on cooking beans for that long. I know that these will cook very quickly. They're already ready to eat. We just need to warm them up. If we couldn't warm them up, we could even eat them cold. So I do like to have um, canned beans on the shelf. So I do have a decent assortment here, but not that many. Um, if you consider... Uh, how long this would last it wouldn't last us very long so we are always using these and uh, adding to the back so we go through black beans more than anything but I buy this array pinto chili 
dark and light kidney beans and black beans. I, this is the array that I put in my homemade chili. So um, I go ahead and stock all of these, but I do buy more of the black beans because we use those in other things too, uh, like burritos uh, and stuff of that nature. So um, I do stock those. I also have some traditional style refried beans that I keep in stock and I go ahead and replenish those as well. We like to have them on the side uh, when we have kind of a traditional Mexican dish, such as enchiladas or whatever, we have a side of rice and um, traditional refried beans as well. So I just pull these beans up to the front and add to the back. It's not super convenient to get these cans in, it, in there, but once they are, it works just fine. You just kind of have to put them in there sideways. But I would like to have the whole shelf all the way back full of the canned beans because we do grow, rotate them through so quickly. But it's one of those things where I like to have kind of a bulk supply of on hand. And then we can grocery shop essentially from our own pantry downstairs. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along and seeing some of the bulk food that we stock up on. Uh, if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe for more in the future. And we'll see you guys here again soon. Thanks for stopping and we'll see you again.